Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming my empties video. This has been on my list for quite a while now to do because as you'll see in a second, I've been hoarding quite a few products to show you. I have skincare, hair care, perfumes, makeup, you name it. I've used it up this month and I'm ready to show it to you. So I just wanted to address something before I jump into my empties video. Uh, it's probably the reason the majority of you guys are watching this right now, but it is the incredibly, incredibly sweet things that Michelle1218 said about me in her recent December favorites video. I'm very new to YouTube and to have someone that I've been watching for years do a shout out like that about me was extremely humbling. I really appreciate it. I'm actually still in awe that it even happened. Uh, and now because of that, a lot of you guys here have come to join me on my channel, have subscribed to me through Twitter, and I've actually been able to start talking to you guys, which I love. And it's all because of the sweet things she said. So I just really, really appreciate it. So, Michelle, I've thanked you before. I'm going to thank you again. You're so sweet. I mean, I don't even think I need to say it. If you're not already subscribed to Michelle1218, I will certainly leave her link below. But to be honest, I'm sure the majority of you are here because of her. And for that, I really want to thank her. So... With all the mushy stuff put aside, I'm going to jump right into my empties video. So I'm going to get started with hair care. One product that I've used up within the last month or two has been my Redken Scalp Relief. Uh, this is a shampoo and it's listed as a soothing balance. Shampoo for sensitive stress, scalp, and hair. I touched on this in my winter must-haves. I'll link that down below if you haven't seen it yet. But my skin and my hair get quite dry in the winter. Um, I've also uh, such dry scalp that it's flaked off almost, not, not dandruff, but severe dry skin on my scalp. So I thought I'd test this out, you know, scalp relief, I thought it would help. It did a bit, but I mean, I think what the issue was, was that not that I had overstressed scalp, it was that my scalp was extremely dry. So I actually needed a much more moisturizing shampoo rather than something similar to this. I don't think I'd repurchase and I'd probably just stick with moisturizing shampoos. Now, speaking of moisturizing shampoos, uh, we're into the K-Pak Moisture by Joico. This is the Intense Hydrator. It's actually a treatment for dry, damaged hair. Now, I picked this up with the shampoo and conditioner as well. They came in a gift pack. Um, my thoughts on this product, personally, for my hair, despite it being dry, like I've mentioned numerous times, I did find the shampoo and conditioner much, much too heavy for my hair. The hydrating treatment itself was quite nice. Would I repurchase? Probably not. I don't think that I'm in need of anything this intense, but I do recommend it if you do have extremely dry, damaged hair. Um, definitely something that's thicker in consistency that can handle how heavy this is. Now my last hair care product, which I also touched on in my favorites video, is the KMS Hair Play. Now this is a dry shampoo. This is probably my third bottle of this. Like I mentioned in my video, it is my favorite aerosol dry shampoo. It has a lovely scent. While it does have a white cast, I strategically put it right on the sides of my part, not directly down the middle, so you can never actually see it. But I think it works wonders, does not leave a texture in your hair. So if you're in the market for an aerosol dry shampoo, I definitely recommend this one. Now next I'm going to move into skincare. I have four skincare products to show you. I'm going to start with my Aveeno Ultra Calming Makeup Removing Wipes. These I actually quite enjoyed while I had them, but it wasn't until I was about three quarters of the way through the pack that I realized it was breaking me out. The saddest part of the story is that before I figured out this, the genius that I am, I went out and bought a fresh new pack. So right now I have a fresh new pack with one wipe used and I don't know what to do with them. I guess I'll give them to a friend or something like that, hopefully, who has a, a little bit of hardier skin than I do because mine couldn't handle these. Now, the next product is a cleanser. I've mentioned this also in my favorites video. RIP to this bad boy. You can see I used every last drop. I always feel so proud when I actually cut the product open and get every last drop. I feel like I'm really, really getting my money's worth out of the product and then makes me feel less bad about all the other makeup things I hoard. But anyway, love this cleanser. I've since repurchased it because as I mentioned in my video, I cannot live without this. I don't know what it is. I would imagine it's 5% benzoyl peroxide, but I really, really love it. Now moving on, another one, I mean, I'm not even going to go into this, I'm just going to show it and throw it away, Bioderma. So I went through another bottle of this, I'm just about halfway through another bottle, but 
Lucky me, um, Shoppers is 25% off Bioderma this week, so I definitely will be going down and stocking up on a few more of these. Um, I've mentioned it before, this is the Sensibo H2O uh, Micellar Solution. It's like water, but holy water, because it takes off all your makeup in a couple swipes. Great for eye makeup. Try Tessa True, we'll always repurchase this. Now my last skincare empty is this bottle of quick tan now again i'm repeating myself i've mentioned this in my winter must-haves it's by far my favorite fake tan you know i use this all year round because i'm casper in the flesh and need to but yeah this is just the bronzing spray in medium dark i've since repurchased another bottle of this it's just great stuff it gives me an even application it's a spray i prefer to spray and then blend most of my friends don't even blend, they just spray it everywhere. Extremely easy to use, you get a lot of uses out of it. It's about $25 if you get it from a salon. If you can go to a beauty professional store, it's $14, so I'm always going to repurchase this one as well. Next, moving on into my makeup empties, I'm going to start with a nail polish. This is the Sally Hansen Triple Strong. I mentioned this in my 2012 favorites video. I've since repurchased, not this, the OPI Nail Envy. I mentioned in my video how much I wanted to use it. It was 20% off at Lawton's today. I mean, girl can't go wrong. They were giving it away. Not really at $17, but I mean, I wanted to try out that one. So no, not repurchasing this one just yet, but depending on how that one works out, you never know. It might be, uh, might be revisiting this one, but really liked it. Like I mentioned in my video, it just helped me strengthen my nails, get them back to their original form after I used those glue on nails for about two years. So yeah, really good product. Next product that I've finished up in the last month or so has been the Benefit Their Real Mascara. Now, everyone's been loving this mascara. I did really enjoy it. One downfall that I found was that it has such a wet formulation that I almost needed to wait a couple weeks, like let it air out a little bit before it really got to the texture that I wanted it. I mean, you can't beat the drugstore mascaras for me. Their price, their quality, like point for point, even if they were the exact same price, I'd still pick the Maybelline the Falsies over this. I'd still pick CoverGirl Lash Perfection. I mean, I might even pick Revlon Girl Luscious over this, which is saying something because everyone loves this one so much. So probably not gonna repurchase this one. Now, also in the line for your lashes, I recently finished up a duo lash adhesive. Um, this is the best eyelash adhesive that I've used to date. I've tried a lot of different glues, and bar none, this is definitely the best. I've repurchased this multiple times. I always pick up the clear white version. I get mine usually from Sally Beauty Supply. Can't really quite remember how much it is, but regardless, great, great product. Now my final lash product empty is a bit of a different one. It's actually Rapid Lash Eyelash and Eyebrow Enhancing Serum. Um, this is what the product itself actually looks like. But it is a wand applicator that has a serum on it that you actually paint over your upper lash line as well as you can put it on the ends of your eyebrows throughout your eyebrows. Now. The reason I picked this up, aside from the fact that everyone wants luscious lashes, is my number one, number one bad habit. I pick my eyelashes all the time. I mean, hours on end during the day. I cringe just thinking about it. But yeah, I always have my fingers in my eyelashes. And I bought this to strengthen them. I know this is more so for growth and that type of thing, but there's also been great reviews saying how much it strengthens people's lashes, um, and that's what I'm looking for. I need something so if I can't kick the habit of touching my eyelashes all the time, they won't just fall out. This has done me well. Um, do I have dramatic, luscious lashes? Absolutely not. But I did notice a difference. I did notice some growth, definitely lengthwise, and... To be perfectly honest, I'm too scared to stop using it. I've since repurchased, more or less because I am now trapped. Thank you very much, Rapid Lash. You have trapped me in a fear hold that as soon as I stop using it, my eyelashes are gonna fall out. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to do some research on this and figure out how one weans themselves off this, like an addict or something, how I manage my withdrawal. But yeah, anyway. Really been enjoying this. I apply it at night. Uh, usually I just apply it in one strip from the inner corner to the outer corner on both my lashes. But yeah, so far so good. I have been enjoying it and unfortunately may have to keep repurchasing it. 
Now two makeup products left. Um, I mean, another repeat. Dream Lumi Highlighting Touch Concealer by Maybelline in Radiant. Um, I mentioned this in my November favorites that this one was running low. This is the one that ran out at the beginning of December. I've since repurchased another one. I use this every single day and I love it. Last makeup product is a foundation and it is my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. I have two here because I actually have finished off two. Yay me slash bad for my bank account because I then had to repurchase them. But these are both in 20. Um, as I mentioned in previous videos, I use 20 and 45 and interchange them depending on my level of tan. So yeah, I mean, I've mentioned these before. I really, really love these. These are my specific going out special occasion foundation. Um, otherwise, it's my Revlon Color Stay is my everyday foundation. I will try something new though. There's a lot of foundations out there that I'd love to try. And not that I'm wasting away on these, but you kind of get that itch. You want to try something new. You see everyone else trying new products and you know, you want to join the bandwagon. So if you guys have any foundation recommendations for me, I'd love to know what they are. Just leave them in a comment down below. Um, give me a reason to buy something else. I don't care about no by January. If the review is good enough, I will purchase it. So yeah, let me know. Until then, I'm still gonna be using this. So my last empties are actually three fragrances. I'm particularly proud of these because as most of you know, unless it's your everyday perfume, it takes a really long time to go through them. So, so when you have three that you can chuck away and you know make yourself feel a little less guilty about the other perfumes you've been buying, uh, feels really great. So first one is the Viva La Juicy, just regular Juicy Couture, the original scent. Um, I mentioned this when I hauled my Viva La Juicy Fleur that this was going out, and it's basically all gone. I think I might have one more wear. This is a, I mean, this is a classic. A lot of people use this and a lot of people love this. Um, will I repurchase this? Honestly, probably not. As much as I enjoy it, it's a very classic scent. I think I've had my time with Viva La Juicy. I think there's way too many fragrances out there for me to try. And I don't really know if I'm going to want to reach back for this one. Next fragrance is Vera Wang's Love Struck. Now, I actually received this last Christmas as a gift. I've considered picking this up again, but once again, there's so many fragrances out there. I do want to uh, broaden my horizon. I really want my next fragrance purchase actually to be Stella, and I have quite a few Shoppers Optimum points building up, so that just might be the winner. But let me know if you've ever used Stella, and let me know if you prefer Stella Stella McCartney, sorry, Stella Original or Stella Lily. Um, I'd really like to know because I really like the two, but uh, I'd like to see what you guys think. So that's Love Struck. Now the last fragrance I have to show you is not my proudest moment. As a 22 year old woman, I mean, I've made better purchases in my life, but Justin Bieber girlfriend perfume. Extremely sweet. I mean, exactly what you would expect for Justin Bieber, because it is probably meant for his 16-year-old fans, but I don't care. I picked it up anyway. Um, we had a good run. It was a good fragrance. I don't think I'm going to repurchase it. I think, I think we've had our time. So that's all my empties. I hope you enjoyed them. I know I certainly enjoyed filming this video, and they all get the heave-ho as soon as I'm finished. But yeah, let me know, as usual, if you have any more questions regarding any specific products. I'll link my 2012 favorites as well as my winter must-haves in the description box because I go into further detail about several of these products there, and I don't want to bore you with repetition. So follow me on Twitter as well as Instagram. I'll leave both those links down below as well. And yeah, until next time, see ya. Bye.